happy the floor drop was done, you guys. <laughs> I was pretty proud. Yeah, yeah, I said I'm a plumber now. There's an estate sale. Look at this. It's like I don't even know how to clean up after myself. Like that. I go, well, I don't. Story time. I almost ruined our floors. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I was like, it's been a minute since I vlogged. We've been working on so many projects, renovation projects at the house. I also have no makeup on because I'm getting a facial today. I also have these like little bitty baby, I don't know if you can see them on camera, but they're like, they're called Mila? Probably not Mila, that's my refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> White bumps, and they're like, like deeply clogged pores, I guess. They've had them for years, and I really want to get them extracted. And she said that was the best thing. Like, I'm having a hydro facial. That little facial is cheap. But I figured with all of the things that we've been doing at the house, the dirt and the grime and the I'm constantly dirty. There's constantly dirt on my face. I'm like I, I feel like I deserve it. And I feel like I need it. <laughs> First on the way, we dropped my car off here in Bernie because that's where I'm gonna have my facial. And then um, first we're gonna go do something. I'll give you one guess. <laughs> it's Friday, so I'll give you one guess. <laughs> There's an estate sale. So we made it to the estate sale and there was a sign up sheet. And all you hear is mom's reaction when she goes to the door because there's no people. So we were like, oh yeah, there's no first. people. And she goes up, she goes, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're 9, 10, and 11 positioned to get into this estate sale. 25 minutes now until we can go into the estate sale. So I'm editing here. And my plumber should be at the house. He got all the parts yesterday and came and he, I drilled a hole in the penny tile um, for the drain. I hooked up all of the drain for the tub and stuff and the overflow and I was pretty proud of myself actually. And then I was. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever drilled a hole in tile? No. <laughs> Have you ever hooked up a drain and an overflow for a claw foot tub that was like a old? No. I know. I was pretty you proud. Did that? Yeah. I said I'm a plumber now. I did that. I amaze her. She amazes me too. We're headed back. We'll see what we can find at this date. So I'm gonna edit for the next 25 minutes though. These are the chairs that I came for. But they're four ninety five each. <gasps> That's too much, mama. Ooh, trinkets. Ah, oh, these are sweet. I mean, it's go it's gorgeous, but it's $500. Like, it's priced to sit. <laughs> Someone already wants it, so it's not gonna sit long. I mean, it's, it's huge and it's gorgeous. I love the fleur de -lis. Uh, don't don't care. care. <laughs> okay, got these bedside crafts. Isn't that pretty? Those chairs, five hundred dollars a piece. Very pretty. Very stately. Very heavy. Very quality. They're still red. I love birds, but if they were green or black, I bought one thing. I spent two dollars. Look at I got a picture frame light. This is gonna be perfect. Now I did buy one from an estate sale in LA, but. The lights in LA. That is all. My mom is getting some beautiful frames though. Look at these that she got, you guys. Look at this. Like, incredible. Wait, so I was thinking for the other two frames, since they're alike but different, they're the same size, but they have the design is a little different. Mm -hmm. I thought that, do you have solid walls on each side wall next to your clawfoot tub in your future house? Yes! I thought that would be really pretty there. Okay, I'm freshly facialed. They extracted all, she said I would have bumps for a little bit. They extracted all those milk. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. But I, it's just those clogged pores. She said I'm definitely not drinking enough water. My face is trying to hold on to as much moisture as it can. And it's like kind of trapping. Um, so she tried to like, the hydrofacial is nice. Instead of them like picking at your face, it's like a water suction that goes over and extracts everything. Okay, so we are running to Home Depot right now um, because I have te we're, we're finally to the stage where all the sanding on the floors are done. It's ready to be sealed and stained. So I tested a stain for the new floors to match the old floors because they do not match. They're the same wood, but one's 100 years old and one's new. So I tested some stains and Golden Oak was the winner. So the swelling is definitely going down already and I'm so glad I've had those like, tra it's basically trapped pores 
that just have spilled up in it. I don't want to put any makeup on, but I do want to put sunscreen. I don't go out of the house without sunscreen. She didn't say not to put anything on, so I feel like it should be okay. Sunscreen, take my vitamins. A big thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video too. I take Ritual multivitamin. I actually got Romeo some too because they have multivitamins essential for men. <laughs> really? Yeah, I put his vitamins right here. So hopefully he remembers to take them every day because it really is about building a habit with taking them. So I've been taking the multivitamin for a long time now and they just introduced their three in one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic tablet. And these are to support gut and digestive and immune health. Uh, so I'm really excited to take these every day as well in addition to my vitamins. They're, mm, I smell it already. They're the same minty kind of flavor. I'm also already trying to drink loads more water since my facialist said I don't drink enough water. So in my like everyday life, I guess, I've heard a lot about probiotics, but then this is a three in one. So the prebiotic helps to promote the growth and activity of the beneficial bacteria that are that's living in our gut. And then probiotics that I've known about help to relieve bloating and gas and just overall digestive issues. <laughs> And then postbiotic helps to prevent you from having all of that other stuff happen. So it, it helps to create like a liner. So it supports gut barrier function. Like it just, it helps it to all work. So together, they're good. They're also the same delayed release capsules that their ritual vitamins are. So it can pass through and go straight to your colon and not break apart in your stomach. And just like all ritual products, they are a clean formula that's vegan friendly, formulated without all the bad stuff, the GMOs, major allergens, animal products or artificial colors. And Symbiotic Plus is also made traceable. So you can find out where all of their ingredients come from if you want more information about that. So if you guys are interested in taking a three in one pre pro and postbiotic ritual is offering us 20% off the first month by using code XO20. So you guys can tap the link in my description box and you don't need to keep them refrigerated. So I keep them here in my bathroom, like ready to go. So I'm going to finish getting ready. Um, we're going to head down to the house and do some projects. Ooh, <laughs> you love projects. Oh He's like so ready for these floors to be done. Like, so ready. Well, you guys, ignore the <laughs> face mask marks around my face. I did it again. I did it again. I somehow switched my camera into slow-mo yesterday when we came down here. So we came down, we were working on finishing up the floors. I was gonna go home and edit, you know, things like that. Oh, you guys, you have to go watch the renovation video. It, this, all of our hard work paying off. <gasps> oh, bless you. A whole month, over a month, if, if you don't count all of the months of research and all of the months that we spent picking at this floor, really Romeo, he picked this floor like on and off the dust from the renovation would help kind of get up that linoleum over time back in may of last year we started working on these floors especially the living room because it had all linoleum so that's the major transformation and the rest of the floors needed to be patched or paint needed to be removed uh, we removed the linoleum in the bathroom it's looking really good i'll show you oh, we only had enough to do one coat of the sealer because i ordered more if you guys saw the video so it's looking really good just one coat is on there right now but two coats is necessary because i felt like the first coat really absorbed into the floor and the floors really drank it up i feel like then the second coat it was like kind of sitting on top so it really added that like last level of sealer that we really need um, and we chose a satin finish so it's not super shiny but it has a slight matte luster to it it's, it's really good so would you guys like a story time while i'm over here staining because look the stain pretty story time i almost ruined our floors i'm being dramatic kind of <laughs> so we were i wanted to stain at least this 
hallway so that you guys could see, you know, the difference and you could, you know, see how we match the old floors and um, got as close as we could and, and just how it all came out. And then it was very splotchy, like, dribbles of things like it it was so spotchy now pine flooring pine wood has a tendency to be splotchy no matter what and what i mean by splotchy is just like round or round circles or like portions of the wood that just doesn't take the stain the same way so it's, it's super, super uneven look so we everything that i do in pine i always condition so we conditioned it and we used that T-bar and I think what happened is that when we conditioned it, we just didn't remove the excess enough to where it was like, you could tell it was on multiple boards in the same spot. So it was definitely from something external. It wasn't in the wood. And Romeo and I just spent the last hour and a half sanding these floors all the same off. We were not happy about it, but we were like starting over and then we sanded it smooth. We did 60 and then on top, we went back with some finer grit and no more splotches. <laughs> it's looking so good, you guys. So I'm just here staining also. I was using like a foam uh, brush kind of to move the stain and it was like way too much stain. I wasn't able to control it and wipe it off quick enough. So. I'm doing it old school. It's gonna take me forever, but I have so much more control over the stain this way that it's just, it's worth it. I'm so happy the floors are almost done, you guys. <laughs> now you guys know where I've been. We've been, where what we've been spending all of our time. I had to go like into a hole and just get that project finished. It was like day in, day out. My hands were always filthy and we were just doing the floors every day. We would come down here and just kill ourselves getting it done, but it's, it's so worth it. You know, I honestly thought that when we sanded the old floors, they would have turned out a lot lighter. In my head, I think for months, I just thought, I'm like, oh, they're gonna be light. They're gonna be a lot like this, this color. And I kind of got adjusted to that idea, like having light floors. I'm like, yeah, okay, I can like it, you know? And then when they came out that color, I was like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, this is it. This, this is what we need. Mom, Laurel, high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I'll follow my golden. The stain has to cure for a couple of days, ideally 48 hours maybe, before we seal it. And the sealer, I ordered six more gallons. Sealer is so expensive, but it's like the best. It's not gonna be here for a few more days anyways. So we have time to stain everything, um, and let it cure and then re cure really dry, you know, but look at this. This is what I wanted to do yesterday and I didn't even get to it. I've got, I, I have to, I have to clean it. It's literally a disaster area. It's like I don't even know how to clean up after myself. Like that, I, well I don't, I'm not cleaning up after myself. I'm just like leaving it out here. Disaster. This is why I can't find anything. because Romeo says I never, ooh, it's bubbles, look, bubbles. Romeo says I never wash my car. I just don't, don't. I, I don't, I don't have time. I barely have time to wash me. Now we have arrived at my second home and no, I don't mean my parents' house. I mean the hardware store. I spend more time at the hardware store. I told, I said last time, I was like, I either need to give them all my money 
or just sleep here because I'm here every day. Okay, I need some screws, multi-purpose screws. I like to use these because they have a star kind of bit on them and they're easier on me to screw into things. So I need two and a half. I think that should be fine. I also need a pretty piece of trim for the center of our French doors. Something like this will totally work. It has a little bit of design to it, but it's the same on both sides. This is called a mullion, 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 <laughs> and it's fine. So it'll stain the same. That's good. We also need more pest block. We've been insulating the whole house. So we've been using this one because it's equally pest and insulation foam. So it's like a double whammy. So why wouldn't we use this? Ah, a couple. We gotta do the tops of the windows and the door two. Yeah. I love the sunlight in this house. <laughs> we made it back. I want to show you what else I bought from Home Depot. Okay, so these are floor... Some of you guys were asking what these... What, what the heck are these? Like, I've got wires sticking up out of the floor in three places because they're actually for plugs. This room isn't really uh, designed for furniture to be along the walls. So furniture in here will, will kind of be um, in the center of the room. Uh, so instead of having cords from lamps that are like from a side table, like over to the wall, we planned for plugs in the floor. Well, I had to pick the plugs I wanted. And it had these, this one is polished brass and it's a round cover. They had the square ones too that kind of look like a regular plug, um, but I thought that, that was kind of weird. And they were just as expensive. So I was like, I might as well just get these. I thought it, ooh, I thought it would look pretty. It looks okay with the floor, right? It's fancy. So there'll be, there won't be obviously wires. It'll be this plug in the floor and it'll pretty much be hidden by the couch or a chair or side table. You won't really see it, but then we'll be able to plug in our lamps here. I tried to think about stuff like that, you know, when we were designing the floor plan and when I was designing where all of our switches were going to go in here, you know, when you walk into a room, you turn on the switch on the right side for these lights. And when I designed all the electrical kind of plan, I planned for three of them to be here. We went ahead and sanded the guest bedroom because we also conditioned that one. And so he went over it a lot of times so we don't have any splotch problems. Um, so if I start that, that's gonna be a long project. If I start uh, grouting the laundry room, that's gonna be, <laughs> I'm just like, we'll start back tomorrow. I also can't believe we're moving in so soon. Like the next vlog you'll see is our moving vlog. Like we're literally moving in. Okay, it's much later now. I have been editing. I don't normally edit at night, but yeah, just try and stay ahead. About to watch Moon Knight, or I'm gonna read my book because I only have like 50 pages left in the book that I'm reading, and I don't know if I want it to end, so I'm kind of procrastinating it. <laughs> um, I've been trying to read at night too, just to kind of like decompress from the day. We are gonna work on more projects tomorrow. As usual, I'm gonna stay in another room and I'm gonna start grouting and just like those finishing touches and we'll wait for that sealer to come in so that we can finish all of the rooms and they'll all be done. The next vlog you'll see, we're, we're literally moving in. With the moving vlogs and our, you know, we're like actually going to be sleeping there and go check out the renovation video on restoring and laying new floors and tiling all of that i'll leave it linked for you and i will see you guys again in a few days for another vlog bye guys she doesn't know how to drive <laughs> i don't know what this lady's doing yeah <laughs> Those vultures are gonna get my brain. <laughs>